Good evening, everybody. Welcome. How does, how does national champion sound? How does three-time national champion sound? I am happy to report that though it took penalty kicks, we did get the spear lit downstairs, so we have taken care of that. I will uh, introduce some dignitaries and guest speakers here momentarily, but just let me share some numbers for you for those of you uh, that pay attention to statistics. Florida State soccer now, in its fairly brief history, 22 NCAA tournament appearances, 15 Elite Eight appearances since 2005, 12 College Cups in program history, eight ACC tournament titles in the last 11 years, eight out of 11, three national championships. They outscored their opponents 66 to 13 this year. And, and you guys are aware we played two full seasons this year because they played in the, in the spring as well. They went 35, two and four this year between those two seasons. Let me introduce a few folks. Uh, I think we have some former university trustees, maybe current as well, but uh, Evan Steinberg, Todd Adams, and Nathan Molina, I believe, are in the crowd here. Round of applause. I see Todd back there for our, our distinguished volunteers and trustees. We may have some members of the president's cabinet here as well, so welcome. Uh, I will uh, introduce uh, David Coburn here momentarily, but the president and CEO of Seminole Boosters, Michael Alford, and his wife, Laura, are down this way. And we also have with us the first family of FSU who just flew back from California and we're out there uh, supporting the soccer team, the First Lady uh, Jay Vardikar and President Rick McCullough, who I'll introduce momentarily. A quick story, this is a true story. We were hosting an event in Boston the week before Thanksgiving on that Friday, the day before the Boston College football game. And the event coincided with the second round tournament game against SMU. And somehow we got it coordinated that the president delivered his remarks during halftime and he was well aware that the team was up 2 nothing as, as you delivered those remarks. Uh, but we've been told never to counter-program or cross-program against the soccer match ever again, so noted. <laughs> that, that said, uh, please welcome the 16th president of Florida State University and perhaps the number one soccer fan, Dr. Rick McCullough. Welcome everyone. Congratulations to the Florida State University women's soccer team, the 2021 NCAA national champion. <laughs> First Lady and I present you with the very best NCAA women's soccer team out of 333 teams in Division I. You know, I, my hat's off to you, all the work that you put into this, you know, getting up very early. I mean, it's not easy getting up early. I don't even like to get up early. And, uh, you know, lifting, running, the drills, practicing set plays, the techniques, the sacrifices that you and your families have made, the sweat, tweaked hamstrings, <clears throat> the examples that you've set, showing the hard work creates success. The joy of victories, the agony, a very few defeats. Uh, from, a, from amazing setup cross passes, fabulous goals. Uh, I remember uh, seeing a bicycle get, kick goal, if I recall. Which, uh, here, where are you? Oh, there you are. Amazing setup by Huge, by the way. Uh, fabulous goals, as I said. Key tackles, late night studying to get those good grades. Thank you, student athletes. The shutdown defense, the clutch stop to PKs, and not shoot out, the shoot out. <laughs> Lifting the NCAA trophy. You played with heart and determination, and you had fun. Wow, what amazing role models you are. This is a moment you'll take with you for the rest of your life and something you'll never, you'll never forget and will be with you forever. 
it's a really, really amazing. I congratulate you. You know, this is one of the most exciting things the First Lady and I have ever witnessed and experienced. We were so happy that we were there, you know, to be there and experience it with you and support the team. Um, it was really something to see. Not only your victory, the coach's victory, the fans' victory, the Florida State's victory. But most importantly, we really enjoyed getting to know you. We really, really like you all very much. And I wish I had, we had more time to spend with you all. And I know some of you uh, are not going to be here next year. I'm, oh, there you are, Jalen. <laughs> uh, one, one of my, I guess I'd better say one of my favorite players. Uh, we are just so proud of you. Um, like the rest of the Florida State family, you know, we were on the edge of our seats, uh, but we had no doubt that you'd bring home the title. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> this is huge for Florida State University. The story tradition of Florida State University continues because of you, the coaches, the staff, the families, the fans. Um, Coach Mark, where are you? Oh, there you go. Coach Mark, you built one of the best soccer programs in the country, and you brought such prestige. Not one of the best, the best program. <laughs> and you brought such prestige to Florida State University. Thank you. To win three national titles in 10 years is just simply amazing. Congratulations to assistant coaches Mike Bristol. Where is Mike? Mike. Mori now Azumi, where is he? There he is. And Director of Operation Nathan Minion, where's Nathan? I don't see you, Nathan, where are you? There you are, thank you so much, Nathan. Uh, we are so proud uh, to be with all of you here today, and thank you all so much for coming out. This is really amazing in every way, and I salute you. Um, 2021 NCAA National Champions. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> Go Knowles. Thank you, thank you. Next up, uh, the Director of Athletics, David Coburn, who's joined by his wife, Mary. And David, is, uh, he has as many degrees from FSU as Mark Krikorian has national titles. <laughs> Which means you might have to go back to school in coming years, yeah, David. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, that'll I'm just... Work. That'll work. <laughs> thank you, Tom. Thank you, Chiefs, for coming. Yeah, when you guys come, it changes everything, and we all know it. Um, so, one of two schools to win three titles in eight years. Um, second most NCAA titles in uh, the history of the sport. Not bad, Mark. And Mark is now fifth winningest coach active college coach, second highest winning percentage. Pretty stunning numbers. This is, our, this is our 18th national championship in all sports at FSU. Um, it, it never gets old, does it? No, it doesn't. It, it's, it's a joy. Uh, but I will say this, ladies and gentlemen, national championships are tough. They are hard to win in any sport at any level. And when you get to the Final Four, I don't care who you are, you're going to play some tough competition. And we did. Uh, this is a team that lost in the finals last year and came back and decided it wasn't going to happen again. <clears throat> I think the thing that impresses me the most out of, of this group of young ladies they have so much depth, so much talent, um, and yet they're willing to assume their roles. Um, they're willing to give up playing time 
because it's the best thing for the team. And they do without grumbling. And that's what makes this team a great team. We have a lot of great players, but we have a lot of players who make this a great team. And it's an incredible bunch of young women, and I am very, very proud of each and every one of you. So thank you very much. Um, and what a head coach. What a head coach. He's up next. Go Knowles. I forgot to thank A.D. Coburn. Uh, let's give it up for not only Athletic Director David Coburn, but super fan A.D. Coburn. David mentioned the final four, so I'll throw out these numbers too. And uh, coach, this is not to put any pressure on you, but th there's another Coach K in athletic circles that I think we're familiar with. And I looked this up today, Mark. He's been at Duke for 41 years, and he's been to 12 final fours. You've been at FSU for 17 years, and you've been to 11. So let's think about that. You guys know this because you're fans of the program and you know the young women seated in front of me, but Mark runs as professional a program as there is. Please welcome Mark Krikorian. Thank you. Well, it sure is nice to be back here. <laughs> First of all, thanks to Jason and his staff for putting this together in short order. Um, uh, all the fans, um, you guys are just great. We've established a wonderful home field advantage here over the years, and uh, um, I think that our successes in terms of wins and losses are, are certainly reflected in the excitement that you all bring to, um, to the games. For all you players, congratulations. Uh, you know, you never know when you're going to get here. You never know when you get a chance to play in a Final Four. You never know when, when you have a chance to win a national championship. So enjoy it because you don't know. You just don't know. The hope is that Florida State Soccer will be back here again next year and celebrating again. And it will be a, a wonderful uh, day to share again. But it's, uh, it's difficult. It's really hard. And uh, the commitment of the staff, and, uh, and I'm not just talking about the coaches. The coaches are the best there is. There's no question about that. But strength and conditioning, nutrition, academics, all of the different areas that uh, affect our kids, um, you guys are the best. I mean, we, we've surrounded ourselves with, with excellence, and um, we demand and ask for excellence from everybody. And, I think all you players know it, you realize it, you're, you know that you're lucky to have uh, the Kathy Badgers of the world and uh, all of uh, Alisa and Alora and the rest of the group that uh, just uh, continue to support all of us in every way necessary. When I look out here, I see an awful lot of familiar faces, a lot of friendly faces, uh, some personal friends, some work colleagues. How about Mickey Andrews being here? <laughs> The only reason Mickey's here is because we got the shutout. I'm sure of that. If we, if we, if we, if we gave up any goals, he wouldn't have been here. And of, of course, uh, Coach Bowden's uh, most trusted uh, friend, uh, Sue Hall. It's wonderful to have you here, Sue, as well. And so, so many friends and, uh, and folks that uh, have supported our team throughout all of these years. And, you know, success doesn't just come. It comes with hard work and determination, perseverance. And um, I think that uh, you all are wonderful examples of that. For those of you who don't know, the team grade point average is in around 3.6, 3.7. So Gabby, will you stand up for a minute?
So Gabby just won for the second time the Elite 90 Award. That is the award that goes to the top level student in the Final Four. Christina Lynch, would you stand up for a minute, please? Where are you, Christina? A year ago, Christina won the same award. Now, just to kind of top it off a little bit, Gabby was just recognized as uh, the winner of the, the Senior Class Award, which I think, if I have it right, goes to the soccer player, the one soccer player in the country that's regarded as the combination of best player, best student, and best person in the community throughout the college. And they both have perfect 4.0 grade point averages. So be, beyond that, uh, you all see the, the results. What I see is absolutely fantastic young women. And uh, I think David touched upon it very, very well, that um, we have a collection of all-stars. There's no lousy players here. They're all all-stars. And uh, in order for us to function as we did, um, they all need to make some sacrifice. And, you know, when, when we put the starting lineup together for the national championship game, there were some kids that were left out that had been started. And there was no sourpuss. There was nothing that uh, was negative. They understood this is what we need to do to be successful and as supportive as can be. And uh, you know, we've had different kids at different times come in and out of the first 11 and just done just a great job. So for me, um, I'm very grateful for the attitude that you have, the mentality that you have uh, for your work ethic, um, for my most immediate staff with, with of course, Na it's no surprise Nathan would be in the background. You can't find him because he's the one that's doing 90% of the work and staying in the background while everybody else works around. Uh, of course, with Mike and Ema and Andrew, um, tireless workers, and uh, I'm just grateful for uh, the efforts that they continue to put in. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm proud of what we continue to accomplish. Uh, wonderful, as David suggested, having the band and the cheerleaders here. Thank you all for taking the time to come out. To our new president, we, support, uh, we appreciate your support for Athletic Director Coburn and his absolutely wonderful wife, uh, Mary. We appreciate you for all that you've done. That's all I got for you folks. I'm uh, exhausted, uh, but, uh, but we sure appreciate all the support that you all give us and, um, and um, we're very fortunate. Thank you. Mark, hold on, hold on. Do you have one? Do you have a spokesman or somebody you'd like to bring up from your team? Here's, here's, Whole the, team. Whole here's the issue, right? You needed to get the 4.80 person up here. They would have remembered that. <laughs> How about the captain, Jalen Howell? Jay, come on. All right, well, it's going to be a little hard to top those three in front of me, but um, I'll try. Um, thank you so much uh, to the athletic program for hosting this event and making this win even more special for the team. Um, on behalf of the team, I'd like to thank Mr. Coburn and Dr. Coburn for not only running our athletic department so great, but also being our biggest fans and supporters, so thank you. Um, <laughs> It also meant so much to our team and says so much that President McCullough and Dr. Vardikar would fly out to California and support us the way that they did. And uh, so thank, big thanks to them as well. Um, thank you to Jim Curry, our sport oversight for his continued support this year and years past. Um, thank you to our boosters, the Garden and Gold Club and fans for always having this team's back. And a uh, big shout out to the fans that traveled to California. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Last but not least, we also know uh, how hard FSU's academic and athletic department work to make our lives a lot easier and more successful. And they work behind the scenes. And I know personally, I can say that. And they make our lives so much easier day in and day out. So thank you. Uh, now speaking a little bit from the heart, um, from last fall to now, this team has experienced 
so many ups and downs, and um, I can I can say with confidence there's no other team or staff in the country that could have went through a uh, COVID year and losing a national championship and then coming back in the same year and winning a national championship. <laughs> and I'll have to say that um, I'll shush the people that say otherwise, so. Um, Personally, this team has been my family and, you know, my rock for the past four years. And you always see it as a professional program, but, um, you know, it, it's a small team and small staff and we truly are a family and we have each other's backs. Um, you know, the winning su and success is great, but the relationships built are what's in most important and uh, we definitely have that. And I wouldn't be the player or person that I am without them and our incredible staff and their families. So thank you. The dedication, attention to detail, hard work, and commitment to excellence from each coach, staff member, and player is what got us here, and it is the standard of FSU. We are so proud to be a part of this university and to celebrate this championship with everybody. Thank you. Congratulations again. I'm going to go off script briefly, but I won't mention the name. However, we found one of these, and if your initials are LS, find me after uh, we finish. I don't want to throw it out on the live stream right now, but we've got your card right here. All right, that said, uh, I can't close when we have the marching chiefs over here. They can do a much better job. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the world-renowned Florida State University marching chiefs!